Hey guys, uh, today we got Teddy Swap on on the spot, and I'll be asking them some questions about Teddy Swap, their background, and pretty much community Cardano community related questions. Important project on Cardano was uh, Fruities, which is a library. We are using also for TeddySwap to write the contracts that actually implement the stable swap invariant. It is a library that allows to create uh, smart contracts using only only TypeScript. So in development, is not a finished project. Of course, uh, there is always something to uh, get better. But this is pretty much my uh, uh, most important part, I would say, uh, as background in in Cardano. Uh, the, the most relevant. I also have some stake pools, so uh, one stake pool actually. Uh, but that's pretty much me. Hey, and uh, I'm Marty. Uh, I'm the founder of uh, a project called ErgoPad on Ergo, which is a, a launch pad for uh, Ergo projects. Uh, we've launched about nine IDOs since we started last year. Uh, I'm also a founder of a project called Pidea, which is down management software. Uh, and what we intend to do is provide a nice way for DAOs to manage their their communities and votes uh, on Cardano and Ergo. Uh, and now I'm here helping advising with TeddySwap. Uh, I'm helping more on the to tokenomics and the documentation and, uh, you know, the white paper things, things along those lines. So we're trying to build, kind of let the devs do their thing. Uh, and we're focusing on everything around that. So the marketing and, and things like that. When I originally got into crypto, it was around 2013, uh, and I was mining stuff like Doge. Uh, and then when ETH came out, it was really cool to have the opportunity to do DeFi and all that stuff. But as I started using DeFi, I realized, you know, on ETH, the accounting model with the gas fees, it's just very costly to use. And I really like the model of EUTXO that Cardano presented. I really appreciate it. The fact that they do it more academically, they really do the research before they launch anything. And that's the reason that Cardano's uh, staking works so well. Um, the other beautiful thing about the staking in Cardano is that your stake pool operators become your marketers because they want people to come and, and stake with their uh, pools, right? So it, it's it's just such a great system to have in place for a decentralized crypto uh, platform. And so that's why I think we, we chose Cardano. The community is excellent and, and it's just a good place to launch a project. And it's a top 10 coin. Essentially, um, we have the traditional AMM DEX uh, works by setting the price uh, according to uh, a formula where uh, x times y equal a constant. Um, the, the, the graph is pretty much an, an hyperbola, uh, like y equal 1 over x. That is the, the, the graph basically when the constant is 1. Uh, what changes is the constant. Uh, so when you deposit or uh, withdraw liquidity, uh, the constant either increases or decreases. Uh, and the same happens with the swaps. Uh, actually, with the swaps in theory, it should be constant. Uh, however, with the fee, increases a little bit. But these are technically um, the, the the important price of this model is uh, of the automated market model uh, is that allows to any order to allow to execute immediately without uh, the necessity to be matched uh, because the liquidity is always there, ready to be used to be swapped. Um, the, the price, however, for uh, this model, using this, this formula of the, of the hyperbola, um, is determined by the, deri the derivative uh, in the point of this wall, uh, which means that uh, the, <laughs> uh, the point over the hyperbola, the tangent, the, the, the inclination of the tangent de determines how much you have to pay off one token to get the other token. This uh, hyperbola is made so that it, it moves very really quickly. All right, when you do a swap, uh, it, it it moves. Uh, the reason it moves is because uh, it's meant 
to work with unrelated assets. Uh, what we want for stable coins, uh, or not or not necessarily stable coins, uh, back to the dollar as an example, but will also be uh, BRAC BTC with BTC. So with assets that are meant to be swapped one to one, we generally want to swap them one to one. Uh, this on the API block works only if uh, we have exactly the exact same number of one token and the other, which is not often the case. Um, so the idea of formula would be something that has always the derivative of one, um, which is how we determine the price. Uh, unfortunately, the formula that has always the derivative of one is the sum of the two assets, uh, but this tends to drain the pool really, really quickly. Um, so what we want is some uh, something that tends to stay as close as possible to the derivative of one, but when we are low in liquidity for one of the other assets, it is uh, the price uh, increases uh, like a lot, <laughs> uh, so that it is basically impossible to drain uh, drain the pool. So that is the main uh, difference. We try to keep the derivative, so the price, as close as possible. We basically, um, as I said before, the, the main concept of an AMM uh, is that the liquidity is always there, uh, ready to be used, to be, to be matched uh, against an order. Uh, whereas in, in an order book Dex, uh, as the, na the name implies, you have an order and then you have, in order to complete the swap, you need some other order that matches your price uh, and that is how it happens. So uh, the, the mechanism is fundamentally different. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages on both uh, the sides. We actually plan to do uh, yield farming right off the get-go. Um, and in the beginning, we want to have the yield quite high. Uh, with an adjustment. So it'll, it'll adjust up to 50% up or 50% down. Uh, and we'll do that manually at first while we develop the platform. Uh, so initially, like if you if you come early and you put your liquidity uh, on the platform, you'll get the most benefit from the yield. Uh, there's also going to be an INO where you can get NFTs, which will boost your liquidity even further uh, and other incentives. So our idea is you know, utilize DeFi tools that are available to really incentivize users to place their liquidity on the platform. On top of that, the nice thing about a stable swap invariant is that you have very low risk of impermanent loss. Uh, so if you wanted to, let's say you want to actually have your savings in crypto, uh, but you want to avoid the uh, variability of crypto prices, you want to have low risk for your savings. That's part of the reason why we're creating a stable swap uh, platform is because you can put your savings there and the risk is so low that you can expect to have a long-term slow growth of your of your funds and so that's sort of that on top of the excess yield is how we want to uh, entice people to put liquidity on the platform uh, and grow it very quickly i think our community is kind of the the biggest aspect of this whole platform because without them we really have nothing uh, an AMM DEX is nothing without the liquidity added to it. So, you know, we're doing the uh, FISO right now, the, the fair initial stake pool offering. And we've taken, I think, over 150 stake pools signed up. Uh, we're going to be filtering that this just after, I think, this weekend. Uh, we're using a random number generator based on a, a future block coming up uh, on Cardano. Uh, and that'll, that'll kind of filter out. Uh, so it'll be kind of a lottery to get the top 10 uh, the 10 pools that are selected. Uh, so anyone who stakes to those pools will get Teddy tokens added on top of their ADA rewards. It'll give those pools a chance. Uh, we've chosen smaller pools with a max uh, stake to them. So it'll give a chance to spread the love there a little bit uh, and increase decentralization a bit. So uh, community is really important to us and, and we want to make sure that everyone feels that they have a fair opportunity. The roadmap uh, is pretty much uh, first to launch the, the version one uh, contract, which only uh, 
integrate the, the automated market maker uh, formula, the, the normal constant product formula. This is mainly to attract liquidity to the DEX, which is a very important part for a DEX uh, based on this uh, design of, of the constant formula. Um, so we launched first with, with the normal constant product and Q1, hopefully, uh, will launch with the version 2, which, is, which uh, will include the, the, the stable, stable swap invariant formula. Uh, which will allow them for swaps uh, for stable stable coins, as, as as explained before. Pretty much, this is uh, the the most important uh, part of, of the roadmap uh, as now. And then the rest will be uh, planned with the community with the Teddy, Teddy token holders, uh, which is the main, the main uh, aspects of of, uh, of the Teddy tokens to uh, be integral part of the protocol. Uh, so yeah, that that is pretty much it. for uh, the, the whitelist. So I have not actually tried, uh, but I do believe uh, that it is uh, a product that is, is very useful uh, get, getting in touch with, with the community. Um, of course, t Twitter can, can be uh, quite dispersive, having something pretty only for the Kantana community and having uh, all the news that are uh, collected. It can be a great, great product. Uh, I do believe it will be useful. Uh, yeah, um, there, there will be there will be pools for uh, non non stable uh, assets. Uh, as I said before, this will be supported from version one, uh, and this is mainly for uh, convenience. It, it is more convenient to have uh, I don't know. Generally speaking, one will have uh, eight assets and wants and wants to swap them to uh, some stable coin. Uh, then there will be definitely uh, a pair from ADA to stable coins and that kind of pair. So yeah, there, there will also be support for uh, normal Cardano tokens. Not that I'm aware currently. Uh, Martin, you, you can correct me. We'll be happy to discuss with any wallets uh, if they if they want to uh, discuss that with us. We're always open to uh, proposals, uh, but we want to support you know as many as we can probably because I don't want to isolate any any specific individuals. I think. So re recently, uh, I myself I, I wrote a little draft for a CAP uh, that will allow to uh, potentially emulate the account model of, over the UTXO model or uh, here on Cardano. Uh, so um, that 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 is only a draft that needs to be uh, polished a uh, little. Uh, but if eventually that is adopted as a standard on Cardano, uh, then uh, we will be able also to support assets that are not strictly. Uh, Cardano native tokens. Uh, so, yeah, that, the, if that standard, I mentioned this is a long time, uh, <laughs> something that will not happen really very soon. Uh, but if it will, will happen, uh, we will more than have, or be more than happy uh, uh, integrating these new ERC20 like tokens. <laughs>